Located in Central America, Honduras is a tropical paradise, attracting many tourists every year to its gorgeous islands, lush rainforests, and picturesque mountains. With its immediate access to the world's second largest barrier reef, Honduras presents some of the best diving and snorkeling opportunities in the Caribbean. What's more, this beautiful country offers many attractions like ancient Mayan ruins, colonial villages, and festive celebrations. From white water rafting to hiking and exotic wildlife viewing, there is no end to the fun and adventure here. Keep watching this video to learn more about the top tourist attractions in Honduras. Copan Ruins the Copan Ruins are an ancient Mayan site, discovered in 1570 by Diego Garcia de Palacio. This area was deeply important as a political, civil, and religious center for the Copan Valley. The city was occupied by the Maya for around 2,000 years, and it was abandoned in the 10th century. It's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and you can wander at will through the vast area and learn about the history of the ancient civilization. Explore the Maya Citadel where you'll see portrait-style stone monuments called stele, overlapping step pyramids, and many ruined buildings. Gumbalimba Park Cross the rope bridges to Gumbalimba Park on the jungle island of Roatan, Honduras, and step into a botanical garden and animal preserve, home to more than 200 rare species of plants and orchids. Cool off in the freshwater swimming pool, wading pool, cave, and sandy beach where you can rent kayaks and snorkeling gear among other attractions. The Acropolis This is another musty location filled with rich and natural heritage and loaded with amazing sights that you simply need to see with your own eyes. It has been rebuilt several times but still stands in all of its decadent glory. The Hieroglyphic Stairway The Hieroglyphic Stairway is the highlight of the Copan Ruins. You can be sure it's worth adding this to your list of what to see in Honduras. The stairway is among the most wonderful sights you'll see, with all manner of stunning carvings and designs etched into the stairway. Las Sepulchras Linked by a stunning causeway, this provides people with a really special range of restored and rebuilt structures, previously deemed to be stunning, high-level residences. Roatan Roatan is one of the Honduras Bay Islands of the Caribbean Sea. A popular port of call for cruise ships, the island of Roatan is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Honduras because of its beautiful scenery and variety of activities. With its gorgeous beaches and coral reef, Roatan provides opportunities for diving, snorkeling, and swimming. The island also features many attractions like the Iguana Farm, the Caramola Gardens, and the Roatan Butterfly Garden. Pico Bonito National Park Pico Bonito National Park is located in the Nobre de Dios mountain range, bordered in by pineapple plantations, cattle farms, and the Rio Santiago and Cangregal rivers. Inside the park is a mountain peak that reaches up to 2,435 meters or 7,988 feet above sea level. Pico Bonito's plant and wildlife vary from tropical forests in its valley to high elevation cloud forests on the peaks. A popular destination within the park is the lodge at Pico Bonito, a privately owned eco-lodge that is surrounded by lush wildlife and forestry. Pico Bonito is regarded as one of the best parks for outdoor activities in Honduras, and there are tours and other outdoor adventures such as kayaking or whitewater rafting. Macau Mountain Bird Park and Nature Reserve the attractively designed and well-run Macau Mountain Bird Park and Nature Reserve grew out of a mission by a couple of American expatriates to care for stressed-out birds that had been mistreated as pets. Biologist Lloyd Davidson and business partner Pat Merritt purchased nine acres containing old-growth mahogany, Spanish cedar, fig trees, and other local species. They opened to the public in 2003 and now take care of more than 100 birds. In a wooded area interspersed with coffee plants, the residents stay in large aviaries visitors can walk through, but get out in controlled sessions to climb on visitors' shoulders. Tropical birds, owls, and hawks recover from past abuse while eating a proper diet. Butterflies and wild parakeets make a regular appearance, while orchids line many of the trails. If the tropical heat gets to be too much, there's a cool natural bathing hole on site. Appropriate to the name, there are five kinds of macaws at this bird park, though occasionally some leave to go live on their own. Many species of parrots and toucans make this a colorful and noisy place to visit. Utila One of the Bay Islands, Utila is regarded as one of the best diving destinations in the Caribbean. With the cheapest open water courses available in the Caribbean, Utila certifies more new divers than any other place in the world. 
However, diving is not the only feature that makes Utila a popular tourist attraction. In addition to other water activities like swimming, snorkeling, paddle boarding, and kayaking, visitors can hike or horse ride through the jungle, explore caves, and climb Pumpkin Hill to enjoy panoramic views. Lake Yehoa Lake Yehoa, located in a cavity formed by volcanoes long ago, is the largest lake in Honduras with a surface area of 79 square kilometers. It is one of Honduras' major tourist attractions. The lake is conveniently located along a highway that travels between Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula, two of the country's largest cities. Sadly, the lush landscape is threatened by deforestation, cattle ranching, and development. From here, you can hike to a remote waterfall and visit nearby coffee plantations. Keep your eyes peeled for rare birds, nearly 500 species have seen around the shoreline. West Bay Beach With a coconut palm line, stretch of white sand, and a colorful coral reef just offshore, West Bay is one of the most popular beaches on Roatan and among the prettiest in all of Honduras. The area around the beach offers a wide range of accommodations as well as restaurants, cocktail bars, and shops. Punta Sal Once used as a haven for pirates, the protected territory around Punta Sal is today a popular place to encounter the natural beauty and wildlife of Honduras. Amid diverse landscape of sandy beaches, mangrove swamps, rainforests, and coastal lagoons, tourists here can see a wide variety of wild species like tropical birds, sea turtles, dolphins, manatees, crocodiles, monkeys, and boas. The reserve also features a traditional village of thatched huts where visitors can learn about the local culture. Comayagua The former capital of Honduras, Comayagua is a high-elevation city found along the highway between Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula and famous for its Spanish colonial architecture. The city was also an important place for politics and religion, but it lost its title as the capital in 1880. Wandering through the small city to view the stunning architecture, the cathedral has the oldest clock in the Americas, and the 16th century neoclassical city hall is also impressive. During Easter, it is a great place to watch the traditional Catholic celebrations. El Picacho El Picacho Mountain, located within the relatively new Parque Naciones Unidas El Picacho, is famous for the 65-foot or 20-meter tall statue of Christ the Redeemer at its peak. Visible from almost anywhere in Tegucigalpa, the statue has been watching over the city since it was erected in 1997. An old white lettered Coca Cola sign on the side of the hill has led to the nickname Coca Cola Christ among the less religiously inclined residents of the city. A fairly easy walk to the top brings visitors past a small zoo, but the main reason to make the journey is for the panoramic view of Tegus from the top. Rio Cangre Hall when looking for what to do in Honduras, this stunning river is one of the most awesome natural landscape sites you will likely come across. Tour guides and pros are abundant in the area. You can hire someone and enjoy a monumental experience.